Hello, my name is Patrick Cleveland. I am the crew chief of the Husky Chocolate Race Team. We are looking at one of our propellers that we use for day races. We carry about 10 different sets with us, depending on pitch and diameter. Sea conditions change constantly, so you have to be prepared for any event. St. Pete looks like it's gonna be pretty flat out there, so we should be pretty good on what we've got for setup wise. We should be seeing mile an hours in the 160s. So these are what obviously thrust the boat forward in the water. These are what they call surface piercing propellers. So these propellers are actually sharpened almost like a razor edge knife. So it actually cuts through the water. We have a, a bunch of different pitches. So the smaller pitch you go is more for the rougher water. So out in St. Pete, we'll be probably with a bigger pitch propeller because of how flat it's gonna be. So we're gonna be seeing a lot higher speeds. We normally keep everything covered. We keep protecting on them and we don't let other race teams see which propeller choice we've made for the day because it could distinguish between a mile an hour or two, which could give you the victory overall. These are our, our, our gear reduction drop boxes. So on the inside, we have a flange which connects to the engine. Basically the power is from the engine through here out to the propeller. We also have quick change gear ratios, which we can change up to 10 different ratios depending on sea conditions as well to match the propeller with what speeds are gonna be correct for the race. So for class one, most of the race boats run a surface drive which is what you're seeing with the torque tube. Most other classes run a trimmable or a steerable drive, which ours are fixated with a trim cylinder. Class one, we're able to change any ratio we want with any propeller, whereas all the race teams are a fixed gear ratio. Uh, the advantage we have with changing gear ratios where if we set up the boat for a flat race and a storm comes through, as they tend to in South Florida, uh, we can change ratios quickly to slow the boat down because it's gonna be rough because the boat will be in and out of the water a lot. So a few things we've talked about just on the transom for setup purposes are a massive amount of engineering and mathematics that go into class one before we even get into the cockpit and the engine base. We use a surface drive and a single rudder system. So we have different lengths of rudder depending on sea conditions. If it's a rough race, we tend to put a longer rudder on because it gives us more control as the boat enters and leaves the water. So for St. Pete, for a flat race, we might shorten it up. You know, we have a variant of six inches of rudder we can change. with. It being a steering system with a rudder, single rudder, the drives are fixated where they only trim up and down. They don't steer left and right with a propeller. We're up here on the deck looking down at our power plants, which are Mercury 1100 horsepower engines. They are all aluminum. They are dual overhead cam, twin turboed. Some specific things that Mercury does for us at the events is the PCM that controls the entire engine. They bring a special one, which you can see has been bolted on the engine. It's a special color. So that way they know it's been installed correctly. They track all the data on the engines. Everything's regulated specifically for speeds and power ratings. So they have to track everything 100%. So when they bring this in, they know that no one has done anything with it, touched it, tuned it, any way to gain the extra edge to beat the competitor. They have a data logger as well, which records everything into here. So they go back to their factory and they will look over every single parameter from boost temperatures, um, pressures, oil pressures, temperatures, everything they can control here. And they will relay information back to us to say, hey guys, we saw a little problem. We need to address this or everything looks fantastic. When you purchase the engine, you receive this PCM with the engine. At a race weekend, Mercury will come install this specific ECU. So that way when we're race ready, they are 100% sure that the motors are good for us to race. It won't do anything without this box.